I am that I am that. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. In the book, A Toast to the Men, Drink One, Set in the Standard, I talk about the mindset, the state of mind of man, and how nothing really matters but how you view and think of yourself and the things you think of and the thoughts you formulate in your own mind. Now, I am that I am. That's a hell of a proclamation, affirmation, and declaration. And I first came across this proclamation or affirmation in the Bible, in the book of Exodus. Now, I won't go too deep into it. This is not a religious channel. Uh, but I take a lot from the Bible. But I want to touch on, there's a particular dialogue going on in Exodus, the book of Exodus, where Moses is having a conversation with God. Now, most people would think this conversation is with the God outside of him, but I believe this is a conversation within himself. There's a battle going on within his mind between his higher self, which is God, and his lower self. And you can tell there's a battle going on within him because uh, at one moment, Moses is thinking on a high vibration. He knows how good God is. He knows how great God is. There's reverence. And then on another token, on the other side of the spectrum, he's thinking on a low vibration. He's making every excuse to not go speak to the Israelites. He's... Uh, He's even saying he's not worthy. He's saying get someone else to speak to the Israelites. He's saying, I don't know how to speak. I don't speak well. Get someone else to speak. But then his higher self has an answer for that. Every time his lower vibration comes out and speaks or enters his mind, his higher vibration comes with a rebuttal to kill it. And that's what goes on with us. There's, there's the battle between our lower self and our higher self. And uh, once you conquer that, you can manifest anything. And I am that I am is what God, Moses' higher self, <clears throat> tells his lower self. Meaning, I am whatever I manifest. I am whatever I believe I am, whatever I put into action, I am worthy. And sometimes we got to tell ourselves that. I, I think constantly we got to remind ourselves of that. Now, how did we get to the point of saying or proclaiming I am? It's going to take positive thoughts, a positive outlook on life, a positive mindset, plus faith, plus works. That equals manifestation. That equals I am that I am. See, you can never know a man's thoughts, not his true thoughts, unless you can see his back. When you see his back, that's when you know how he truly thinks. What I mean by that is once he's passed, once he's passed the process, once he's gone through the process, his glory has passed. You can see his back. You can see the trail he's left. You can see his works. You can see what he has manifested. And that'll tell you what he truly thinks of himself. You can't believe everything that's coming out of his mouth because he may hide some insecurities. He may hide some doubts. And most of us don't, don't voice those doubts and insecurities. But once you see my back, you see my works, you see the trail I left, you'll truly know I am that I am. And that's what uh, God tells Moses at some point. Moses goes so far as to ask or request that God show his face so he could tell the people how he looks. And God said, I can't show you my face 
You know, I can't show anyone my face and they live. Now, God can't show you his face because God is formless. God is faceless. I am that I am. Your mindset, your higher mindset is faceless, is formless. There's not one set of, of face or forms I can, I can show you about my mindset or about God because it's faceless and formless and I can adapt or form myself into anything I need to form myself in because I am that I am. Now, God tells Moses, I can't show you my face, but uh, this is what I'll do. I will show you my works. I will show you my back. I will show you what I've manifested. And then you would truly know who I am. He said, but first, right next to me, you may stand on a rock. So right next to your mindset, right next to your higher self, there's a rock. That rock is faith. Now, he says, stand on that rock, stand on faith. And once my glory passes you, my works, the process, once, it, once, it's, once I'm going through the process, I'll cover you. I'll cover your eyes. Man, you remember when we were children and uh, we'd be watching a, a movie, maybe a rated R movie, and we'll get to a certain point where maybe there was some nudity and uh, or s something maybe gory, and our parents would cover our eyes. Now, they wouldn't take us out of the room, but they would either cover our eyes or cover our ears. And once that process was over, but they did not want us to see, they would remove their hands from our eyes and ears. And that's what God is telling Moses. Stand on that rock, stand on faith. And once you stand on faith, I'll bring you through and I'll hide you from some things that I don't want you to see, some things that may shake your faith, may, may rock you. I'll protect you from all that. And once my glory passes you, once that process is over, you'll see my back, meaning you'll see the trail I left. You'll see my works. In a race, do you know how you know who's winning? You see their back. That's how you know who's winning. Now, as the race is going on, I don't know who's losing. I know I'm losing, but I know who else is losing, right, if I'm not in front. But I definitely know who's winning because of their back. Their works is what I'm going to see. And that's going to show you who I am. I am that I am is, a.k.a., the manifestation of my thoughts plus faith plus works. And that's what it's going to take, brothers. That's what it's going to take for us to make that proclamation, that declaration, that announcement that I am that I am. It's going to take a positive mindset. It's going to take faith standing on a rock, unbreakable trust in the process. And then it's going to take works. Faith without works is dead. A positive mindset without faith and works is dead. It's going to take those three components for you to be able to say, I am that I am. Be faceless, be formless. Let your work speak for yourself. Let your work speak for you. Hey, as always, from me to you with love, peace.